Wham, bam, Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. The story you're about to hear details an event that ended with over a hundred thousand US dollars in damage. Even more spectacular is what the Tesla owner had to go through to prove the other party was not only at fault, but outright lying about what happened. The submitter is currently pursuing the parking company legally over what we're about to watch. We've decided to keep the video source anonymous so as not to hinder the case in any way. For now, we'll call the submitter Ben. Ben had valet parked his Tesla Model 3 Performance in a parking garage, and when he went to collect it, this happened. Here, we see the valet driver picking up the car to deliver it to Ben, who was waiting outside of the rather narrow garage. Unfortunately, it looks like the valet driver ignored that sign. As the valet driver made his way down the garage ramps, we can clearly see that he's done this before, and his pace is pretty fast. All of a sudden, this happened. Ben, who was still waiting outside, almost couldn't believe his eyes as a car almost went flying through the wall on the second level of the garage. He feared that his Tesla had been involved in the crash, so he ran to check on the driver and his car. The valet driver was stumbling out of the Tesla, claiming that the car had driven itself. He said that Autopilot had taken over and crashed the Tesla into the other cars. Ben didn't believe it for a moment, and he quickly jumped into his Tesla and watched the Tesla cam video. The footage itself didn't prove Autopilot's innocence, but Ben knew that the valet driver's story wasn't true. Here's where his battle with the parking garage and insurance companies began. The parking garage management claimed innocence with an unintended acceleration excuse. From that moment on, Ben decided to fight it all the way, documenting everything to make sure there was no way possible for his insurance company to lose the case. He contacted Tesla to retrieve a copy of the EDR report. EDR stands for Event Data Recorder, which is sort of like the car's black box, which records everything that happens. And by everything, we mean everything. It shows exactly how far each pedal was being pressed, G-forces acting on the car, which settings were switched on or off, which airbags deployed, how much the driver weighed, and more. Unfortunately, Tesla wouldn't give Ben the data for legal reasons because he lives outside of California. He's not really sure why that would cause any problems with releasing the data, but he thinks that if his lawyer had contacted Tesla, they probably would have turned it over. Instead, he had to pay an EDR technician 1300 US dollars to retrieve the report. The EDR technician plugged into Ben's Tesla and began to extract the report. Once they were able to review it, the evidence was staggering. The EDR report fills 70 pages and shows that the valet driver wasn't even wearing his seatbelt and the car was traveling at a speed of 22 miles per hour at the time of the accident. Most important was the information on the next page. They could see that, at the time of the impact, the valet driver had already begun applying 100% force to the accelerator for 0.4 seconds. On the next page, the report revealed that the brakes weren't engaged at all. Ben could now prove that the valet driver's claim of unintended acceleration was false. The valet driver had, in fact, pushed the wrong pedal, applying 100% force to the accelerator rather than to the brakes. The most aggravating part of the whole story is that, with all of the evidence stacked against them, the parking garage company is still refusing to take responsibility. Ben's insurance has paid out on the multiple claims for the damages and will reimburse him after the litigation is finalized, but who knows how long that will take. The cost of repairs for the Tesla was 24,000 US dollars. Together with the damage to the building and to the other cars involved, the total cost of the property damage is estimated to be way over 100,000 US dollars.
Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends I'll drive diesel, I must make amen.